Hi guys, it is Jazz and welcome back to Life by Jazz TV. Today I wanted to share with you guys a confession of a creator here on YouTube. My confession is that I was on a podcast, actually an amazing podcast. I can't even believe I was featured on this podcast. This podcast is the Lavender Lifestyle Podcast and it is hosted by my friend and amazing YouTube content creator, Eileen, and she invited me to be on her podcast. I was one of her first guests. The whole process of being on her podcast, I wish I could say it was a pleasure <laughs> because that is what I actually always envisioned being featured on a podcast would be like. But for me, this process of being on the podcast and really sharing my truth was excruciating. <laughs> and that is my confession, is that as a creator, the fear of exposure doesn't go away. And it is actually like every time I feel like you have something new, something creative, a new idea or a project, a message, a song, a piece of art that you have to share, that is when you are challenged to move past that fear and share it with the world. And sometimes that might be really painful, but I can share from my personal experience here that if you don't share it, it's actually even more painful and it can manifest into something physical. And so that is where the story is headed. Ah, it's really weird and kind of magical. And that is why I'm sharing it with you. So rewind a couple of weeks ago, Eileen asked me to be on her podcast and I said yes right away, of course. I love you and you're an amazing content creator and my friend and I love everything you're doing. Let me be on your podcast, I said. I hung up the phone and then my heart started beating. What? She wanted me to talk about how I love my body? I did love my body, but I didn't want to talk about that because it is something that um, is ever evolving and it's something that I just at the time was really overwhelmed with sharing. Um, and I believe it's because I had some really amazing breakthroughs of these ideas of how I was really overcoming a lot of, of negative re relationships with my body and really healing in that space. And it's something that I wanted to write about on my blog. I just wasn't sure if I had it in me. And so this was a challenge and I had accepted it. So this podcast process took two recording attempts and the first one was particularly painful. I thought I was gonna cry. I don't think Eileen knew that, but I was literally on the verge of tears. Um, and in my mind, I think I begged her to like let us stop and <laughs> reschedule it. But hopefully on the other side, it sounded a little bit graceful and um, you know, I said, can't hear you, things are, I mean, there were some technical difficulties, but for the most part, it was that I just wasn't there. It's like, you know, when you are performing or when you're birthing something that is like really important to you um, and you are feeling exposed and vulnerable, you like don't remember anything, that is where I was. That battle, I would say fear one, but I said, let's reschedule. So there was a second attempt. In between the first time we tried to record and the second time we tried to record, I actually went to the doctors because I was experiencing excruciating pain in my chest. And that doesn't happen often to someone who's as young and beautiful as I am. I'm 29 years old, guys. So start off with a call to my mom because we actually do have history of heart disease and aneurysms in my family. So I called her and she said, you gotta go to the doctor's woman. So I went and they took an EKG and they, it came back completely normal. And I was like, okay, I don't know what this is. I had no idea, I wasn't even thinking about the podcast. I mean, I was, but I didn't think it was related to that. And then the day of rescheduling or when we were supposed to film like, or record again came up and this time, I breathed a little deeper. I knew this was something that I was gonna do. Didn't matter how bad or good I was, it was just gonna happen. So 
Um, it happened and I literally don't remember any of it. It's crazy. Like I don't remember any of it. And that's one of the reasons why I was so terrified to actually listen to the final product because I was like, I don't remember what I said. Um, I didn't really care if I sounded smart. I just wanted to, to sound truthful. <laughs> I wanted not to sound truthful. I wanted to know that I was speaking the truth. Um, and I wanted to, to be myself. Because really that is all we're trying to do when we create art, create something, or you know, in life. <laughs> All we're trying to do is just be ourselves and, and be loved and find love in being ourselves. And so I was on my way home yesterday, finally listened to the podcast, and I almost broke out into tears. I was so happy to, not just because it, because I loved what I said, but it was really because it was my truth and it was my story. and. And thank you, Eileen, for just really pushing me and giving me this opportunity to, to speak my truth um, and, and challenge me. And, you know, I just have to put it out there and, and share with you guys that if you have a message, not if you, you do have a message. We all have a message. We all have a purpose. We all have something here that we are supposed to be creating on this planet. And so find it, seek it. Um, and and follow it and, and let yourself feel the discomfort if necessary because if you don't you might end up in the doctors like I did um, I heard a quote the other day on another podcast that I totally love called magic lessons and it is Elizabeth Gilbert's podcast she had the author Brene Brown on it Brene Brown says that unused creativity it doesn't is not benign and that means that if you don't use your creativity, it festers and it can and really build up into something that is dangerous and it makes you really unhappy. So that is the story that I really wanted to share with you guys. I, I love this community and I really hope that this is something that you guys connect with and that you can share your stories about. I always ask you guys this and it never gets old and I really want to ask you again, like, what is it that you want to share with the world? What is it that you want to create? or talk about, or, or who is it that you want to be here. You do not need to be an expert to share your message, to create, and to be yourself. Thank you again for watching. Can't wait to hear your comments. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video, and head on over to my website and sign up for my list so you can get some updates. I will see you guys next week. So namaste, ashe, and good vibes. Peace out, dudes. Make sure, make sure, make sure to check out this podcast. It is amazing and it is all about life design. Life is an art. Make it your masterpiece. So you're given one body to live in for this lifetime. Love it for what it is and love it fully. Check out our podcast right down here. Make sure to subscribe to our podcast and most importantly, write a review. It's sunset. Oh, so beautiful here at Lightning Lava. As a creator, the fear of exposure doesn't go away. And it is actually like every time I feel like you have something new, something creative, a new idea or a project, a message, a song, a piece of art that you have to share, that is when you are challenged to move past that fear and share it with the world. And sometimes that might be really painful, but I can share from my personal experience here that if you don't share it, it's actually even more painful and it can manifest.